The Department of Justice and FBI launching investigations into the apparent suicide of disgraced millionaire Jeffrey Epstein after it turns out he was taken off suicide watch. Attorney General Bill Barr appalled by the news, saying Mr. Epstein's death raises serious questions that must be answered. In addition to the FBI's investigation, I have consulted with the Inspector General. Joining me to react, former FBI Special Agent and U.S. Army Ranger Chad Jenkins. Chad, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. Obviously, this is a, a very compelling case to follow right now. Immediately, my first concern is why was Epstein taken off of suicide watch? And apparently, in order to take someone off of suicide watch, they need to file a report. Will we, will, will, F, will the FBI, will the DOJ be able to see that report to figure out why this man was taken off suicide watch so quickly? Well, to your point, I think everyone in America woke up yesterday just dumbfounded and horrified that Epstein was able to commit suicide, especially given that he attempted to commit suicide just a few weeks ago. And, you know, Inspector General will now investigate this because AG Barr did uh, and, and stu institute them to go ahead and start investigating. And answers need to be uh, made of the questions that we have right now. It's unacceptable and it's ridiculous that Epstein was able to commit suicide Suicide and that he wasn't on suicide prevention or watch 24-7. Uh, given the validity and the, the prolific high-profile case this is. Yeah, and I mean, my, my, I'm guessing he would have had to have been evaluated by a psychologist. Someone would have had to approve that this man be moved to an SHU, which is a special housing unit, from being on suicide watch. So I'm, I'm sure that will all come through in the investigation. Can you talk to me a little bit about the difference, though, between the supervision that happens when someone is on suicide watch versus the type of supervision that should be happening when someone is shifted over to an SHU facility. Uh, are, are they still watched as closely? Is there a greater possibility that that person can do physical harm to themselves? Well, he was able to do that, so mm -hmm. we're seeing that that did happen. Uh, but to your point, he would have had to go through interview process. Very manipulative behavior given the uh, what's being charged against him or what was being investigative against him so that he was able to go ahead and do these interviews with these psychologists and get himself reduced off the suicide watch there's got to be questions on that as well if it's it's purely negligence at this port but we got to see if there's also criminality mm -hmm. uh, within the Bureau of Prisons mm -hmm. and the process that was yeah. done to allow him to get off the suicide watch and, and Chad just quickly the timing of his death is very suspicious just a day after after thousands of these documents were unsealed that mentioned various people's names, very high profile people, Prince Andrew um, and, and Bill Richardson and others who may have been implicated uh, in, in these crimes. Does, what does the timing mean to you quickly? We have about a minute. Yeah, I mean, I think it shows that the onion layers, the peels were coming off of the onion and getting to the core of the investigation and that it was most likely going to generate legs. And it's just, it's frustrating. It's horrific. Uh, unfortunate is not a big enough word to describe mm -hmm. what the victims are having to go through now and endure, yes. seeing that they're not going to be able to see him serve justice or have to go and be accountable for the horrendous actions that he did. Yeah. That's where my heart goes out to. I'm disheartened. Wow. And just uh, completely saddened that they yeah. will not get to see him face to face and what a coward he was. Well, Chad, we really appreciate you being here. We're going to continue following this case, obviously. And obviously, the victims uh, can't, should be everyone's priority. They certainly are mine. Thank you so much. Yep.